Hey, hello, my friends, Sergio Gomez here. What is the best type of content for you as an artist to create in order to get the attention of your audience? Is it short videos, long videos, short captions, long captions? Is it going live? Is it creating reels? Is it creating, you know, posting one photo or multiple photos or writing a long blog? What is the best type of content for you to talk about your art, to share your art, to share about your projects that you are doing as an artist? Well, my friend, in this video, we're going to go dive deep into that question and give you an answer that's going to help you out from this point forward. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author, and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art, and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. All right, so to answer the question of what's the best content for you and for your audience to promote your art, we have to look at two things, right? The first thing, let's take a look at the actual social media platform. At any given time, every social media platform is trying to promote some new feature or some new filter or some new something that they want most people to know about and most people to use. And when you jump into that thing, which is hot and trending, probably you're going to get more visibility, what is called more organic reach. Let me give you an example. You know, a few years ago when I wanted to start a show called uh, Breakfast with Sergio, right? My Breakfast with Sergio show. Well, at that point, Facebook was really promoting uh, Facebook Live. So if you were to go live, you know, a few years ago, you know, Facebook would give notification to everyone that's fo that was following you we give you a lot of uh, visibility because they were really pushing people to go live and when i started breakfast with sergio i would go have my breakfast and click live right on my phone and i would get tons of visibility tons of you perhaps you got to know me and you got to know my content because of breakfast with sergio right so it's exactly the same thing now today going live is still good but it doesn't get nearly you know, as the visibility that it used to get when it was the hottest new thing. Now, fast forward to right now, for example, if you go to Instagram as another platform, you know, you look at what is the thing that Instagram is trying to show to more people, well, it's short form video, right? Doing Instagram short reels. So if you do Instagram reels, Instagram is going to show that type of content to more people. So. The first answer to the question of what's the best content for me is you have to look at each of the platforms and see what is the thing that's going to give you the most visibility, right? That's what you're looking for. So look at what's hot, what's trending, what's newest, and see if you can do something, you know, with that type of content. The second thing that you want to look at is what are you already good at as an artist, right? How can you take that which is trending and bring in your own personality, not to be copycat of somebody else trying to become someone that you are not, but rather, you know, who are you as an artist? Um, what are you good at? And how can you leverage that way of communication, you know, into what's uh, hot and trending or the features that they're trying to promote and give free organic reach? So for example, you know, if you are good at writing, you know, then create longer captions that are engaging, that people love to read. You know, it is an assumption sometimes that we make that, oh, nobody reads captions. Well, nobody reads them if they're not interesting. But in my experience, when I really uh, become thoughtful, which I like to write, and I write a thoughtful caption uh, that gives something to the viewer to, you know, continue reading, I get pretty good feedback and I get pretty good reach because I'm, using something that I like to do, that I love to do, and that I feel I'm good at, right? So why having a short caption when I can actually make a more thoughtful one? Um, some of you perhaps are good already at making videos and you have no problem of making a video like the one, uh, the one I'm doing right now. So go for it, do more videos, right? Use that type of communication in order to get to your audience. Perhaps uh, some of you like audio and you really love the audio component, but like I cannot be on video, so you don't ask me to be in the video because I'm not good at it. I get, uh, you know, all shaky or my hair is never perfect, whatever the, the reason or excuse. 
not to get on video. Then another way you can do it is if you love, you know, to uh, use your voice and talk and communicate through your voice, uh, is use audio. You know, you can very easily create a video where you're showing your studio or your work, and then just use your own audio without actually showing yourself up in the video. In other words, don't feel like every trend and everything that's had is always has to be you in front of the camera doing weird things. You don't have to. They're actually really good artists who are doing really thoughtful things with just audio, you know, when they show their work or they want to say something about their work. And that works perfectly. You can even start a podcast if you love audio. And that's maybe a way in which you show up on a regular basis to your audience and to your followers as well. If you, you know, love writing, for example, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, be uh, still creating really good blog posts. And what you do is you write a blog post on your website and then you share that blog post through Facebook to LinkedIn. For example, you can take that blog post, go to LinkedIn and create an article on LinkedIn. You can create a newsletter on LinkedIn, send it out. You can send that to email, you know, that same blog post. You can take a quote from that blog post and post it on your Instagram stories. You can take a picture of that blog, of that uh, one of the uh, quotes from what you already said in the blog, make that into an Instagram quote photo. People love those things, by the way, let me tell you, that's why I'm using, I use them as well all the time. And uh, it's, your own, it's your own content, it's things that you had already said in that blog post. So, you know, look at what you're good at, what you like to make, how you like to communicate with people, with others, and see how you can use that type of content in whatever is working right now. For example, I've seen many artists who um, use the written word uh, to put an overlay on top of a video of their studio or one of their artworks, and that becomes a reel that instead of being them in front of the video doing things, it uses their words, you know, on top of that. And, you know, then you're using the best of uh, the platform, what the platform is uh, really pushing, and the best of your way of communication. So, and I totally believe on this, when you are able successfully to take what you're good at, the best way in which you communicate, you know, with what's hot right now and trending, you combine both, you know, that's how you stand out and that's how you become successful, you know, in your social media, getting your content to more and more people who are ready to receive it. Yeah, there's a lot of people making content. And there's a lot of people, you know, you're scapping the next person. But when you bring your own self, your own personality, who you are, I think you have much better chances to stand out and to make the best content for you as an artist and for your audience as well. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.